Hi guys, it's Max here with dartsreviews.tv in association with dartsplanet.tv. We've got a set of shot darts for you today. We've got Bam Bam Brooks darts here. Really interesting dart, very, very vibrant. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on these. So uh, I think what we'll do, we'll head straight on over to the table to get them up. Okay, so we're over at the table with the Shot Pro Series Bradley Brooks darts, old Bam Bam himself. The case, the box itself is quite unassuming. It's a standard sort of Pro Series box, but then they use like this sticker section to show which player it is. We got the 23 gram and then match weighted to 0.05 grams, 90% tungsten, and it comes with the 100 micro, um, micron stems, uh, bite, sorry. Over on the back, bit of information there about when they were made and everything and shot usually like to put a really nice story about their darts but because this is a pro series uh, pro series range it's got a standard bit of write up here which says shot darts are 100 percent designed prototypes and made in our new zealand workshop by dartisans yup we're obsessed, but this end-to-end -end approach means total control over quality and precision. The Shot Pro series is designed closely with dart players for pinpoint accuracy and consistency. Every dart goes through the gauntlet to get to you, and if it doesn't make our grade, it doesn't make your game. A little bit of cautionary down here, lifetime barrel guarantee. Um, so yeah, let's get the darts out, have a look. It comes in this EVA foam insert where you've got one dart fully set up and then the other barrels, stems and flights are all held in nicely in place so it doesn't fly about in the box. Let's have a closer look at the actual dart. Starting at the front we've got a standard length sort of black coated point adding a bit of grip into the board. We have a short taper at the front before going into a parallel section that goes all the way back. Um, and then a small taper at the rear before going into the shot stem and the bam bam flights. The grip at the front on the taper, we've got four rings here, quite square cut, inlaid with this really vibrant red. And then we go into the flat section here with the second grip area, which is carried on from the front rings, but has the extra lateral groove that's quite wide and quite V-shaped. So I can feel it catching on my thumb um, a little bit, but it's quite a consistent sort of feeling grip, even going from that front bit to the here. Um, and then we go into a second section where it has a middle ring in between that's slightly wider. So the spacing between rings is less than at the front, um, but still carries on with that lateral groove. Got that lovely red inlay still, um, but in between each of the so like single and double groove section here, um, it's kept black, which is really nice. Adds a different sort of look and a different sort of texture. Then the rear section here is separated by another wide ring but with no lateral groove. And then this section here with the alternating red mimics the rings that are at the front. But again, no lateral grooves. Quite, they're square cut but not as sharp as the rest of it. So really, really nice. And then there's a small taper going into the shot stem and the band and flight so yeah nice center weighted dart plenty of different grip zones not too catchy um but the lateral groove does add quite a bit of extra grip measurements on this for the 23 gram version is 6.4 millimeters wide and 54.5 millimeters long so quite a long dart i'm looking forward to giving this a go doesn't feel too grippy thankfully but it's a really nice texture so hopefully I get some good darts. Let's head over to the board. Okay, so we're over in the dart room with the shop Bam Bam Bradley Brooks darts. Really good looking dart. The grip itself looks really grippy, but it's getting a nice smooth slide. So hopefully I'll get a nice release. I'm going to have a couple of throws just to get used to them. And then we'll go into our practice routine. So let's see how we get on. Starting off straight, which is good. Oh, just as I say that, 85. A little bit wild with the third duck. Oh, 
Oh, threw the last one away. 121. Pressure got to me. Well, they're definitely flying okay. Again, like I say with most starts, I think changing the setup would help. Most probably a smaller flight or something like that because they're quite a long dart. But uh, all in all, I'm happy with them. So let's go straight into our 201 practice routine. Game on. Eighty-three. We've pulled that one back. We've got one hundred and eighteen left to get. And there we go in three darts. A nice double nineteen finish. Well done it in six darts. So I really can't complain at that. Had a little bit of a wobble, um, like I said, changing the setup have really helped, but where I'm holding on the ring grip at the back, it's actually a nice, clean, smooth release for me. I'm not catching on any edges or anything. Obviously, it's a bit grippier, a little bit further forward, but yeah, let's go have a final thought. Well, I was more than happy to do that in six starts. I got that lovely 118 finish as well, finishing on the double 19, so definitely happy to do that. The dart felt really, really nice. Even though it's a little bit grippy, I got a lovely clean release and the shape and size of the dart was beautiful to get some nice grouping in there. And the red and black is really, really vibrant and looks fantastic. Um, I'm going to give it a grip rating of three. Where I was holding, I didn't quite have the lateral grooves as well, so it wasn't as grippy. But that suited me down to a T. I did get a nice clean release. And as you saw, it did fly through the air quite consistent. Um, the weights that this come in, we've got the 23 gram and it comes in 23 and 25. Not a massive range to choose from, but I think there's enough there because they obviously want to keep the width of the dart down and all that grouping. And with all the extra milling and everything, obviously it can't really go up too high either. Uh, price range on this is £79.95. It's a 90% tungsten dart from shot. Don't forget there's a lot of quality in these dart. They're all designed, manufactured and shipped from New Zealand as well. So there's a lot of logistics that go into getting them over here. And at £79.95, I think that's a fair enough price for them as well. Um, if you've got a set of these or you're looking at getting a set, head on down into the comment section, let us know, ask us a question, or even leave a bit of criticism about the video if you think there's something that could have been a little bit better. Make sure you head on over to dartsreviews.tv and dartsplanet.tv. Lots of stuff on there, whether you've got 10 minutes, half an hour, or even an hour. There's competitions, puzzles, reviews, all sorts, and there's stuff about the competitions that go on in darts as well. Make sure you tick subscribe and tick the notification bell. Lots of stuff coming up in the future. And as always, come back, check us out again soon. Bye.